Kia ora and welcome into Sky Rugby Club. Now last week the Blackfern squad for 2021 was named with a couple of new faces added to the mix. And today we are joined by two of the newest recruits, Liana Michele Tu'u and Maya Koana Kalani Roos. Kia ora and welcome and thanks for joining us today, you two. Hi. <laughs> thanks for having us. Well, um, we'll start off with, you guys must have got the phone call last week, but what was that like, Lee, for you? We'll start there. What was that like receiving the phone call? Um, I wasn't really sure how to feel leading up to the um, phone call. Um, I don't like to get myself too wrecked up over something I can't really control, so I thought it was best of, my best um, kind of thing to do was just to, just to let it be. For the time being but um during the actual phone call i don't think i remember anything else other than um gm saying congratulations and like you know you made it and stuff like that and um uh, <sighs> i think i just said thank you one too many times and i'm pretty sure he was like ready to hang up after like the 20th time but um <laughs> <laughs> no, i think i was really thankful um and just probably just really excited yeah and what about you maya um i'm quite the opposite to lee i was so nervous like the whole week night before day before um and then oh my gosh you know my brother so i was really stressed and i was sitting in my sister's bed um and then my phone i put my phone down and i was recording a little vlog to like just look back on the memories you know um and then i put my phone down and then my phone started ringing and I screamed and I looked at it and it was my brother and he was standing outside the window and he just started laughing. And then I nearly cried because of how nervous I was, but yeah. <laughs> well, was the actual call, um, I ran outside to answer it. And then GM, he like started to talk about lockdown. And then we had a little yarn about that, but I just wanted to know about, I just wanted to know what the answer was, <laughs> but then he said, congratulations. And then, uh, I kind of like Lee, I just went silent for a bit and I just kept saying thank you. And then, yeah, that was that. Has it really sunk in to both of you that you've made the squad that is going north, you know, for a northern tour and together? No. <laughs> um, like, I, I think for every kid, it's like, it's their dream to one, play a sport for their country and like two to give back to the parents and make them proud so um this is really huge i think it means everything to to both of us but um no nah, it hasn't really sunk in um what about you maya <laughs> yeah it's still real unreal this year me and lee we've been talking about like the whole year like what a dream would be if we could make the team um when broad cup was cancelled we saw it as a chance that she has a chance to like maybe put our hands up some more. And so, yeah, just feeling real blessed that we can be in this position right now. Well, looking both at your careers, uh, you both debuted for, well, in 2019. So, um, Liana, you're in with Hawks Bay and Maya with Auckland Storm, but what was it like going into that level of rugby? really different um I think the dream started in 2019 when I played with um the Hawks Bay Tui's um yeah I, I I owe a lot of my growth as a player to them um and everyone back home so um I think the level of play for FPC compared to like club games in Hawks Bay there's like three four clubs so we were just kind of doing two rounds playing playing the same teams but yeah, it was really good. And I think that's where I was like first introduced to the players that I'm like getting to play alongside now with the team. And what about you, Maya? What was that like going to that level of rugby? It was a real big step up because um, I've been playing school girl rugby for basically since I started school. And so going from that into club in year 13 as well was a big jump up from year club in year 13 and then being picked up for Storm. It was like such a fast game. Um, and I was real fortunate to be be behind two of the current Blackburn locks, then current. So I had Ella and Charmaine Smith, and so I could sit behind them and I had so much to learn from them. Yeah, you obviously absorbed a lot of that. And then Lee, you made the move in 2020 to Auckland, but what made that decision to leave Hawks Bay? 
Um, I finished high school in 2019 and um, decided to do my first year of study up here in Auckland. And so um, I just made the move up and wanted to also continue playing rugby. So um, I played for um, College Rifles last year and then also mm -hmm. debuted for Auckland Storm. So that was also me as. Did you guys come across each other at College Rifles and then just it clicked from there to be best mates? <laughs> I think towards the end of last year, Ailey. Yeah, she I think I was a snob. she reckons I was a snob at club. <laughs> yeah. But I was. I just. Yeah. Lee, is that true? Uh, no comment. But <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it really started when um whoever the angel was that put us together as roomies for for my debut debut was it in Taranaki? We got to room together. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably where it started we stayed up till like sorry to our coaches but we stayed up till like <laughs> what time two i don't know like you know <laughs> yeah, just and i think that's probably where it started and i think everyone's sick of us now but i mean 100 <laughs> percent. well lee for people that don't know maya what type of person is she when you go down to training or outside of rugby because I know that whenever I'm at training the first person I see is Maya giving everyone high fives and the hype that she brings do you want to explain to anyone that doesn't know her what Maya's like um, yeah. <laughs> um Maya's really really um enthusiastic I think a lot of people would love to be her friend um and she's someone who works really hard and it shows on field um but then she's someone who's also really humble. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. Um, but yeah, I think anyone could vouch for this, but she's definitely someone you would want as a friend. She's there for everyone. Um, and yeah, she's really cool. She is really Aww. cool. Aww. Well, Maya, what about Lee? If anyone wants to approach Lee, what's Lee like? Yeah. Lee's a beast. She's like, <laughs> she's the funniest person I know. Um, I don't think many people see that. If you do, <laughs> she's on. Um, she's lovely. What a lovely person. Um, I don't know. She's such a cool person to be around. Lights up the room, lights up the life, you know. Works hard. Oh my gosh, she's the toughest person. Uh, sometimes she's a bots. When she came back from an injury, she started like, taking off her moon boot, everything. And then she's back and better than ever. So yeah, Lee's one of the best people I know. Well, you guys have it, had an incredible year, if you put it down to making history with the first ever super, and now you're both in the Black Ferns. Now looking ahead, I know the FPC season is coming to potentially an end for the Auckland Storm team. You guys have still so much preparation to get ready for for your northern tour with the black ferns but how do you stay fit and ready for that maya um i think we're we are real fortunate to have um such a good support system for us at auckland and so our snc coach james has been providing us with like heaps of good running blocks um we've been pushing cars running up hills um doing everything that we can in lockdown to prep our body um, and so that will be hissing when we get back into it. And what about you, Lee? Um, kind of the same. Yeah, I think for everyone that's going on tour, the thing that's on their mind is making sure that they're prepared um, and ready. And especially for us um, that are debuting, I think it'll be really important that we're, you know, kind of ready to prove something to everyone that's kind of there waiting to watch us. So, yeah, same with Maya. Well, there's so much rich rivalry that you're going to go meet on the other side of the world with England and France and you get the chance to verse Australia as well. But what team are you most looking forward to going up against? Shucks. Um, I'm pretty nervous about that. Um, hearing the girls' stories about the physicality of those northern teams. Um, so I think I'm looking forward to versing the French. That should be a good game. And what about you, Lee? I think I'm just nervous to play any team. I think the whole, the nerves comes from just like getting out on field and just getting stuck into it, just kind of just playing our own game. But I think 
any team, I'm probably just going to be nervous anyways. International rugby. Congratulations to you both. And I'm sure you guys will both carve up and you represent Auckland. Make me very proud. Thank you, Taylor. Thanks, Taylor.